All right, so I got two new solar panels right there. They're 235 watts each. And those are connected to the power wall. And the power wall is not on the wall yet because I'm still building it and figuring out exactly what, how I want to hook it up. So it's hooked up through uh, this BMS and this BMS to charge the batteries. <coughs> we are putting one amp of current in at 66 volts. And that is because the inverter is running. Come on, focus. The inverter is running and it's staying at 66 volts to charge this DeWalt battery. And uh, so that is my that is a micro, that's a, almost a 500 watt solar system, uh, whatever that is, uh, 470 watts I think. Yeah, 470 watt micro solar system that I've got going right now. That is the charge controller. <coughs> right here. Super cheap, it even acts as an MPPT. You can dial it in, so it works quite nicely. It's surprising how well it works. Um, but So I'm gonna dial this in uh, and set the amps just right so when I'm getting max sun, it does act like MPPT. <coughs> um, and yeah, 25 bucks. Pretty cheap charge controller, I'd say. And it's pretty universal. Um, the only thing is, is with this one, the panel voltage needs to be less than what the battery voltage is. You can buy these uh, opposite uh, step-down converters, so the in the solar panel voltage can be higher and the battery voltage can be lower. I might uh, get one of those eventually. I'm not sure. All right. So right now, this is what I'm using. It's working very well, and the efficiency seems to be quite good too. So we'll see. And uh, what else? Well, we are off grid. The whole house is running off of the SW3000. This thing would focus, there we go. <coughs> and we now have, let's focus again, uh, around 750 watts, 750 watts, is it this one? And then 500 watts in this one, yeah. So 750, 750, 500. These two are pretty well maxed out. This one I'm going to put another 250 watts on eventually. And uh, this one catches the morning sun. Uh, this one catches the afternoon sun. And this one catches the midday sun. I have panels facing different directions. As you can see, morning sun. Got 40 amps coming in. This one I have, this is the highest string panel voltage I've got. I've run so far. Just because I have a fairly thin wire. I'm running a 14 gauge. Uh, so I ran it at uh, 75 volts, and we got 7.1 amps coming in, which translates to 40 amps at 12 volts. And then these ones I just have uh, 28 and 30 volts on the in the panels. Open voltage is a little bit higher, but not much. And I'll show you the panels in the backyard. Here are the panels in the backyard. I'm going to build a little lean-to, put those on. Raise them off the ground a little bit, and uh, yeah, so these are the panels that catch my morning rays. So my house is hooked up, running off the batteries, and we still have, after the house is running, I can hear the furnace is on because I can hear the, the exhaust fan, we're still putting in 900 watts more than what we are using. And these have not even hit peak sun yet, not even close. Uh, these aren't either, but then again, we're also probably getting close to float. Anyways, doing very good, very happy with the system. The extra um, 470 watts is uh, helping a lot. It's my battery voltage. We got 58.4 amps coming in to charge the batteries on top of what we're using. There's our watts. And so that is the gel side of things and the SW3000. The house is only taking two amps at the moment. That's good. Okay. Now, 
the DIY Powerwall. Here's a totally separate system. This is 470 watts of solar coming in to this uh, DC to DC buck converter. I'm using it like a charge controller. I got it set to 66 volts, constant voltage. Uh, amps can go up to 5 amps. I'm actually going to increase that because these panels can go up to 8 amps. I'm going to go <coughs> 10 amps for now. Get that up there. There, set that. And there we go. It's keeping it within, uh, it's bouncing back and forth, the constant voltage light and the constant current light. All right, so what do we have? What is the lithium power wall running? Well, let's take a look here. We got, this is set to watts. It's 112 watts. It's being pulled out right now. Uh, Voltage is 115, 1 amp. Uh, we're going to count the kilowatt hours. As long as this doesn't reset, that'd be great. But uh, we are running uh, my pretty much my little office desk. Uh, so that's Alienware laptop, monitor, Asus laptop, um, uh, projector when we use it. Um, bar fridge, um, whatever charges we have uh, in that area for all of our cell phones and whatnot. Uh, the biggest one is the bar fridge and the Alienware laptop. They take a lot of power, both of those. And the projector also takes quite a bit of power when we have it on. So we're going to see how this system does. So far, we're holding. Seems like we can uh, use this no problem. So I'm going to possibly hook something else up to it, but I gotta remember, I want it charged during the day so that at night, I can drain these. And then I'm gonna uh, periodically keep checking the cell, balance of the cells. Um, thinking we actually might be able to use. Oh, do I have it in here? This is my, yeah, I do. I might be able to stick this in there, and that'll tell me my cells. It won't tell me my first cell because my first cell goes from here to here, but that'll tell me all the rest of my seven cells I can manually check the first cell. Yes, yeah, so that's exactly how I'm going to do it because that's definitely the easiest way. And thanks for watching guys. Uh, I'll keep updating you on how this works. This is about 990 watt hours of power. So this is, I'm just going to round up, let's say one kilowatt. Six of these is one kilowatt Worth, worth of power, so I got a one kilowatt power wall right now hooked up to a 3000 watt inverter. We're gonna see how this goes.